So, James. Julius. Compact moving lead head. Yeah, talk about compact. Okay, this is the Martin Mac 101. It's um, an RGB fixture. It's very small physically, it's very light. You can pick it up on a finger. It weighs that little. Um, I like this. Now, okay, what is going on in terms of beam angle here? In terms of beam angle, this, this thing's really, really pretty heavily collimated. It's very tight beam. It's tight. It um, looks like it's like less than 10 degrees in the old speak. Yeah, it's it's not quite pin spot tight, but and it's uh we can we can lens it, we can diffuse yeah, it. Yeah, you can get you can get optional optional lenses to um to splay it out a bit wider. Um, I think one of the really nice things about this fixture is that this is the kind of thing that it's very easy to use a lot of for a couple of reasons. First, it weighs very little, so it's not going to cause you major rigging concerns. Isn't that light? Six kilo? It's uh, 3.7, I think. 3.7. It's yeah, due it's... to the encroaching decrepitness of myself that something that is as lightweight as this actually feels a little more. If you say so. Mm. Okay, a few other reasons. What we've got here is we've got PowerCon input and also a PowerCon loop through. That's handy. Yeah, definitely. As well as five pin DMX. That, that would have to be the new standard, wouldn't it? In out, it, in out. It definitely, time. it definitely sort of seems to be the way of all things these days. Um, we've got five pin XLR in and loop through for DMX, um, which is good. It's the right connector to have there. It, it's not going to draw a lot of power. It's not going to impose a lot of rigging concerns. But the really impressive thing about this is that it's very fast and it's extremely quiet. Um, I pulled out the SPL meter. There's, there is actually a little fan in the back of the head. Um, and if you crank up the fans full tilt, which you can do from the menu, the menu is actually via this little LCD screen on the back of the head. Uh -huh. um, if, you, if you get into the menu and you turn the fans on to full, then they make a bit of noise. But I, I've left these running for, for several hours and um, the fans haven't actually felt the need to, to kick up any significant uh, noise. And right. now, did you do your homework as I directed you and compare the light output of these uh, with a redhead? I did. I did. Uh, when did you do that? Oh, I did this a couple of days ago. <laughs> too, too official. Um, yeah, the, comparing this with a redhead, I, I dialed the redhead up to, up to spot beam. Um, and I pointed this at the, the same surface. And this pretty much just punched a hole straight through the redhead beam. It's... Very, very tight beam. That's a what, um, 800 watt And it's very redhead. bright. That's an 800 watt redhead. Yeah, and, and as opposed to hardly any watts here. Yeah, yeah. It's bugger all. Bugger all. Um, what, I, what I didn't finish saying was that because if you want to... interrupted you. You did, you did, but that's okay. Um, if you want to use a whole lot of these on a show, uh, it's not going to bugger up your noise floor because they're very quiet. The head itself moves really fast. It's... From it's 540 degree pan and 240 degree tilt, and I think full pan takes about two seconds, and full tilt are is about gonna, half we, that. Are so, we going to show the viewers at home the? Yeah, we, we, you can see it. You can see it now. Um, it's incredibly fast. Um, so I, I, for for the purpose of what this is, you know, it's small, it's lightweight. Um, Easy to deploy, easy to use lots of them. It also um, has uh, what look like fretted heads here so that you could mount the thing on a plate in a ceiling, I would have to guess. I suppose you, you could, looking like, at it. Like yeah, that. yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, the interesting point about rigging is that the, going away from the traditional Martin system, it's a single M12 bolt hole for rigging. So, uh, And you can, you can run the thing in er any orientation you care to? It doesn't. It doesn't care which way it faces. Um, 122 watts, licensed by Color Kinetics, made in Denmark. There you go. Mm. So that's the Mac 101. Small, light, bright, easy. Bring it on. Affordable. Yeah, bring it on. Lovely.